It's now time for Mark Hankins, Faith for Every Nation. Mark and Trina train and equip leaders in every nation through church services, leadership conferences, mission trips, and media. Get ready for a direct and joyful message about how to grow in your faith and learn more about who you are in Christ. Now, let's join Mark and Trina. Open your Bible to 2 Corinthians 4, 13 and Mark 11, 22, 23. And we're going to do a study on the subject of faith, the spirit of faith, how faith works, living by faith, ingredients in your faith. Praise the Lord. Um, 2 Corinthians 4, 13, the apostle Paul says, talking about what we have, what we have. I mean, I like to quit talking about what you don't have and talking about what you do have. Amen. We have. He said, we're not trying to get it. Not someday going to get it. Paul said, we have. Paul said, we have the same, the same. And then he uses the word spirit of faith. So faith is a spiritual force. We have the same spirit of faith. He says, according as written, I believed and therefore have I spoken. He said, we also believe and therefore speak. So when Paul said, we have the same spirit of faith, uh, if you were to interview Paul and ask him, what is it that you have that keeps you from collapsing in times of such adversity? Paul said, I tell you what I got. I may not be the most talented, may not be the smartest, may not even be the best looking, but I do have something. My secret weapon is I have, we have the same identical spirit of faith. He said, that's what we have. So he says, the spirit of faith keeps him from collapsing, but also you'd want to ask the apostle Paul, what is it that you have that makes you so productive even in times of trouble? In other words, the apostle Paul was probably the most productive Christian who ever lived. His missionary journeys, of course, writing half the New Testament, and he did that many times in the most difficult challenges. And what did you have that kept you so productive? Paul said, what I have and then he said, what well, we have, because the spirit of faith is contagious. Yes. Amen. You need to make sure you hang out with people who have the spirit of faith because they sound different. Come on, they see different. Come on, there's a different sound in their voice. Amen. They act different. Come on, this is giant killing faith. Come on, this is mountain moving faith. When Paul said, that's what we have, he's really quoting from the Psalmist David, where the Psalmist David said, uh, I believed and therefore have I spoken. I believed and therefore have I spoken. That's in Psalms 116. I believe therefore have I spoken. Paul said, we believe and we speak. You know, even the devil don't care what you believe if you'll be quiet about it. <laughs> so the spirit of faith has these two main ingredients. Number one, I'm a believer, which means I have an attitude of faith. And number two, I speak. I believe and I speak, which is that, that's what Dad Hagen said, uh, that faith actually, these two things, believing and speaking, opens the door to the supernatural. So if you're tired of living just by natural things and you want to open the door to the supernatural, he said, there's two main ingredients. Just number one, I'm a believer. That's my attitude. Number two is my believer is connected to my speaker. In other words, my faith must be strong enough to move my mouth. If my faith is not strong enough to move my mouth, it'll never move a mountain. So when, when uh, Paul is quoting from the Psalmist David, David said, the Lord has delivered my life from death. 
He's delivered my eyes from tears and he's delivered my feet from falling. In other words, spirit of faith works in the most difficult situations. It looked like I was not going to live. Looked like I could have died, but the Lord, the Lord delivered my life from death. I'm going to live. I'm not going to die. I'm going to declare the works of God. All right. So he said he's delivered my feet from falling means I'm not going to keep tripping over the same problems. And he's delivered my eyes from tears. How many know there's some things you just need to quit crying about? Amen. You've already cried about that too long. So he said, just quit crying about it. Amen. The Lord said, weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. In other words, God said, I'm going to give you one night to cry about that. Bring in some others to cry with you. But when the sun comes up, I want you to quit crying about that. The Lord delivered my eyes from tears. Come on. I'm not full of sorrow and grief and anxiety. I'm moving forward. Amen. So the spirit of faith. And so Paul says, we have the same thing. So, um, in Psalms 18, one of my favorite scriptures go with that. And that is where, where David said, the Lord will light my candle. The Lord will light my candle. Psalms 18. He said, then I can run through a troop. I can jump over a wall, chase my enemies down, pursue them, and they'll never rise again. So, uh, this is a man with a major attitude, right? He said, the Lord's going to light my candle. What is that? That's your spirit lit with revelation of the word. Praise the Lord. So uh, the spirit of faith is more than just a formula. It's really a fire. You get lit on the inside. Your spirit gets lit with revelation of the word. I believe and I speak. Then he said, I can run through the troop, jump over the wall, chase the enemy down, trample them under my feet. They will never rise again. So let's see. Uh, Paul said, that's what we have. We have the same thing. How many can look at David killing Goliath and say, I got the same thing. I got the same thing. So when David uh, faced Goliath, he said to him. In other words, David was the first man to ever talk back to Goliath. Nobody talked back to him since he was in the third grade. I mean, he's a giant. So, so whenever he talks... <laughs> Everybody trembles, right? It's kind of like the story about the guy that was in school and he was a bully. And uh, he is writing all the names of all the people he could whip in the school. And so his friend walked up to him and said, what are you doing? He said, well, I can whip. This is a list of everybody that can whip in this school. And his friend looked at him and said, well, you got my name on there. He said, you can't whip me. Take my name off of there. So he just scratched it out. So... So the devil is a bully. Come on now. If you ever see your name on his list, say, better take my name off there because you can't whip me and he'll, he'll have to scratch it out. <laughs> so David said, Goliath said, David said, Goliath said, David ran at Goliath, hit him with a rock in the head. Goliath didn't say nothing else. So David cut his head off and Goliath never said nothing else. <laughs> so years ago, the Lord said to me, never run at your giant with your mouth shut. Come on, and your giant might represent financial things or physical things, come on, or whatever looks too big for you. He said, you better get your mouth moving when you're going to run at that. In, that. in other words, the spirit of faith will tell what's going to happen ahead of time. All right, let's try it right now. In other words, whatever you're facing, I say, let me tell you how this is going to turn out. And I'm going to tell you what's going to happen here. I'm going to knock you down, cut your head off. Amen. So the spirit of faith believes and speaks. So you can see the, the speaking or the saying part of faith. You can see David and Goliath and you can see Joshua and Caleb. Now, Dad Hagen taught us tremendous things about just the fundamentals of faith. And uh, when I was about 17 years old, he's teaching on faith. So uh, he goes from Mark 11, 23, which we'll look at in just a moment, that whosoever shall say will have whatsoever he saith. So he brings up Joshua and Caleb. He says, you know, the 12 spies go into the promised land 
and they get in the promised land and uh, man, giants in the land. They said, we, we look like grasshoppers in our sight. Come on. And uh, they said, we are not able. The 12 spies said, we are not able. 10 of them said, we are not able. 10 of them said, we are not able. And these are the leaders. So if you got trouble out of the leaders, you got trouble. They said, we are not able. And two, Joshua and Caleb said, what? We are well able. They said, we are well able. Not five years from now. He said, we are well able right now. All right, let's try it one more time. We are well able. Let us go ahead and hit it right now. Come on, what you waiting on? We are well able right now. And so then Dad Hagen said this. He said, now, 10 spies says we are not able. The, the two spies said we are well able. And then he said, so who got what they said? <laughs> oh, now y'all are smart. We got the smart people here this morning. He said, who got what they said? Well, I was sitting there and I said, well, you know, the 10, the 10 got what they said. They, they were not able. He said, no, actually, everybody got what they said. The ones who said they can't didn't, and the ones who said they can did. Don't look around right now, but you know everybody's getting what they said. In other words, what you're saying is determining what you're having right now. Amen. So you've got David seeing the spirit of faith running at a giant. You've got Joshua and Caleb saying... We are well able. And then he brought up the um, prodigal son. Prodigal son went out living in a hog pen. And after he lived there for a while, he said, I will arise and go back to my father's house. So I don't know if you've been living in a hog pen for a while or whatever kind of trouble you've been in, but all you got to do is announce ahead of time, I'm not staying where I am at right now. I will arise. I'm going back to my father's house. And he got up out of the hog pen. But his words led him out. So then the other illustration he gave, because it's like, how long? 50, 50 or more years ago. He said, uh, I mean, you know, good sermons will last 50 years. <laughs> so the last one he said is the woman with issue of blood. Mark chapter 5. She said, she said, she said, she said, in other words, her faith moves her mouth. She said, then she acted. Then she received. Then she what? Said again. So you got a saying on the front and the back of that miracle. She said, then she started moving. Amen. Then she touched, received the anointing. You've actually got two major steps before you feel anything. All right, let's try that again. Because I, I know some of y'all are looking for a feeling. But, but you got two major steps before you feel anything. She said, then she acted. Then she did what? Receive. And then she what? Told it. And Jesus said what? Daughter. Let's try this again. Daughter, I sovereignly picked you out to heal you. No, he didn't say that. Jesus said, daughter, your faith has made you whole. Go in peace and be whole of your play. He said, your faith made you whole. So Dad Hagen's reading that when he's a teenager with all these incurable diseases. And he said, the Lord said to him, if her faith made her whole, your faith will make you whole. Hallelujah. Your faith. All right, go to Mark 11, 22, 23. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Everybody say, I have. We have the same spirit of faith. Amen. I'm contagious. 
You know, not, not too long ago, all this stuff going around. And I was at a checking out of a store somewhere and they had the little spots where you're supposed to stand. And apparently I forgot my spot. <laughs> Waiting to check out. And this uh, lady in front of me, it disturbed her that I'd gotten off my spot, you know. <laughs> and she was like, and I said, oh, I'm so sorry, I forgot my spot. I said, um, but you know, you might want to catch what I got. Anyway, so, so I, I'm contagious. We have the same spirit of faith. All right, go to Mark 11:22. 22. Praise the Lord. Now, y'all know these verses well. Jesus said to have faith in God. And then he said, he tells you how faith works. Actually, he said, I'm going to make it so simple. You need a theologian to get confused about it. He said, I'm going to make it so simple that actually anybody can do it. Now, I've met some people in my life that I wondered, but Jesus actually said, anybody can do this. So Jesus is going to make it real simple. Have faith in God. Here's how faith works. Whosoever. Whosoever. Amen. So he's not going to make it tough. You don't have to pass a bunch of tests. If you just came out from underneath the bridge, he said, you can do this. If you're at the lowest point in your life, you can do this. Whosoever, whosoever shall say. So the first thing Jesus said about faith in God is the speaking part of faith. Now, if you ask most people what faith is or how faith works, most people would say faith is believing or confidence or trusting. All those are good answers. But the first thing Jesus said about faith is your faith must be in your mouth. All right, we're going to try this one more time. Your faith must be in your mouth. There's no such thing as silent faith. Whosoever shall say, and then he said, unto this mountain. So I was wondering why he used the word mountain. We were already impressed with the tree. <laughs> I don't know if he said that just to mess up Bible colleges for the next 2,000 years, but, but we had many discussions in our Bible college on this verse right here. But Jesus had just spoken to the fig tree right? The disciples were amazed at his words. Matter of fact, the most impressive thing about Jesus was his words. Nobody ever said, there's no comment in Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Anybody said, I sure like his clothes. He dresses so nice. <laughs> Nobody ever said, he's got the prettiest smile. Nobody ever said, I like his hair. Nobody said anything like that. Nobody said, I like his donkey. That's one of the best donkeys I've ever seen. <laughs> but everybody said, there's something about his words. There's something about his words because when he speaks, all right, let's try this over here. I said, when he speaks, storms stop, demons leave. Come on, people are healed yeah. just when he talks. <laughs> wait, wait. And Jesus goes down to Mark 11, 23 and said, you can do the same thing. All right, let's try this out over here. He said, whatever I got is what you got. That's what I'm giving you. So when Jesus said concerning the fig tree, the disciple said, that's pretty amazing. Jesus could have said, I'm Jesus and you're not. <laughs> he could have said, that's a deity trick I learned in heaven. <laughs> Me and the Father God do it. Don't any of you earthlings try it. If you get it wrong, blow the lips off your face. He could have said. <laughs> and said, Jesus said what? What I just did. 
to that tree. I mean, we're already impressed with the tree. So Jesus is going to crank it up a notch, right? He said, what I just did to that tree will work on a mountain. It will not just work on a mountain. It will work on whatsoever. Let's try that again. It'll work on anything, anywhere, anytime, whatsoever. Anything. You are watching Mark Hankins Ministries, Faith for Every Nation. Anytime God wants to change someone's life, he always touches their mouth. Never underestimate the power of your voice. God is a faith God, and without faith, it is impossible to please Him. Lift your voice and open the door to the supernatural in any situation you're going through. If you're silent, you will lose by default. There is a miracle in your mouth. This week, we want to offer you Mark's brand new four CD set, Mountain Moving, Giant Killing Faith, for your offering of any amount. Your faith may not prevent all mountains, but it will move them. The Bible story of David and Goliath gives us a picture of how faith in God is released through faith-filled words. Never run at your giant with your mouth shut. If you knew what was on the other side of your mountain, you would move it. For your gift of any amount, you will receive the Spirit of Faith book. In the Spirit of Faith book, Mark Hankins shares valuable truths such as how to win the war of words. Faith is an act. The simplest definition of faith is acting like the Bible is true. Your mountain needs to hear your voice. Your gift of any amount will help Mark and Jenna Hankins train believers around the world. Our vision is for believers to catch the spirit of faith, learn who they are in Christ, and be strengthened by the move of the Holy Spirit. Your love seat will also help us complete our new Mark Hankins Ministries Conference Center. This conference center will help us distribute the word more effectively through conferences and will also serve as our new television studio. Please call 318-767-2001 or visit markhankins.org. Thank you, World Missions Partners. Together we can, together we will. Well, I hope you enjoyed the message today, a message of faith. Man, they teach faith unlike any other. They can really get it across to you where it's simple, but it's so deep, but you understand it and it just changes the way you understand faith and the way you walk your own faith out. Now, this week, they've been teaching out of the spirit of faith. And this is our offer that we have this week. If you don't have this book, I encourage you to get it. It is a game changer when you need a spike in your faith. If you're feeling a little bit weary, maybe you've been believing God for a long time and you're starting to feel a little bit tired, pick up the spirit of faith. It will just light your fire, strengthen you, and encourage you to just keep going after what you are believing God for. So if you want to get that book, all the information you need is on the screen. You can go to the website or you can call the number on the screen. I hope you enjoyed today. We'll see you next time. We want to thank all the Mark and Trina Hankins Ministries partners Amen. who have made this ministry possible. Praise the And Lord. the word is working mightily here. five decades, our desire has been to teach foundational biblical truths to believers around the world. Now, like never before, we see an acceleration of that assignment and are determined to take the message of faith to as many nations possible, seeing lives, churches, and nations transformed by the Word of God. We've been to over 50 countries and have ministered the Word and the Holy Spirit in conferences, churches, and Bible schools. Some of these places we go to again and again, and the seed of the Word is still growing today. Our assignment is to distribute the word on every avenue possible. 
broadcasting on TV, websites, social media, the app, and through publishing our books and CDs. We know if we do our part, God will do His part and make sure the Word lands at the right place at the right time. In the last days, the printed page will be the most effective distribution of the gospel. The stories of people receiving our books in remote places around the world fuels our vision to do what the Lord has called us to do. People are receiving our books deep in the heart of Africa, Vietnam, Papua New Guinea, the Philippines, Iran, and Pakistan, and so many other places. Our books are currently translated in many languages and distributed in even more countries. Our vision is to have our books translated into a hundred different languages. Getting the written word in the hands of pastors and believers around the world is paramount to igniting the faith of generations to come. The books can go much further than we can. Partners, we ask you to continue to stand and believe with us that the Lord will continue to open the doors to new countries for our books to be distributed. Not only have we seen the faithfulness of God in the distribution of the books, but the television and media ministry has also accelerated as we recently launched out into daily television. We are now on the Victory Channel, BTN, and the Word Network and are reaching a potential of 150 million homes worldwide. We desire to continue distributing the Word more efficiently. One way we are doing this is through building our brand new Mark Hankins Ministries Conference Center. This conference center will help us minister the Word more effectively through conferences and will also serve as our new television studio. We're also streaming our In Christ International Bible College around the world via Facebook and YouTube. This allows anyone in any country to catch the spirit of faith and study the Word at their convenience. With the advances of modern technology, the supernatural acceleration, and the new open doors, we are reaching more people today than ever before. And that's because of you. It's because of our partners that we're able to accomplish the assignment God has for us. When everyone pulls together, we will see amazing things happen for the kingdom of God. We thank you for your continued partnership. We could not do what we're doing without our partners. Together we can, together we will. Thank you, World Missions Partners. The Mark Hankins Ministries app makes it easy for you to watch the latest TV broadcast. Listen to unlimited full sermons by Mark and Trina. Read our daily devotional and stay connected with upcoming events. Download the app today on any smart device. Simply search Mark Hankins Ministries. Start feeding your faith at any time and anywhere. Join Mark and Trina Hankins for an hour of powerful teaching live Monday through Friday on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube at 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. Everyone can join In Christ Bible School. Catch the spirit of faith and move the mountains in your life. Watch live wherever you are and learn who you are in Christ. That's live at 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. Thank you for watching Mark Hankins Ministries, Faith for Every Nation. For more information on how to build your faith, visit markhankins.org. You can access many free word resources to help you find who you are in Christ. Thank you for watching.